Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar. And I'm back with a Fred Holm, Fred Holm, whatsoever, integral equation of the second kind. And we're going to solve it today. It's actually quite easy, not talking about the kernel or anything of this function right here, f, just simply solving it elementary. It's, it's pretty quite easy. So you see lambda right here is just some constant. And yeah, we're going to solve for f today. So this is our main goal. At first, I would like to factor this x squared right here. So why the hell not? Let's bring this 4 to the inside into parentheses, a minus 4 times x squared. Okay, so far so good. And maybe you can see something if you would bring this x to the outside because this integral right here is going to be integrated with respect to t. Then, well, this kind of looks like a quadratic equation. How can we check if it's a quadratic equation? Well, we could in fact differentiate this and see if it turns into a polynomial of the first degree. So you see, this right here by the fundamental theorem of calculus is just some constant c, you could say. So that means if we differentiate f, we are going to end up with, well, two times some constant a minus 4, you could say, times x. And x differenti differentiated is just 1, so that means we are going to end up with plus c. And you see, this is of the form of a polynomial, first degree. So this, in fact, is just a polynomial of the second degree. So that means we can rewrite this right here as some, I don't know, ax squared plus bx plus c, capital C. Let's put it that way. And now we can just compare coefficients and then we are basically done and solving for those coefficients to plug them into here. So you can easily see that the c right here, you can see that the c <laughs> is missing up here. So our c is in fact zero. So far so good. So we end up with ax squared plus b times x. On the other hand, we can see the coefficient of x squared is nothing but a minus 4. So we can also conclude that capital A is nothing but a minus 4. And well, the last step is to compare coefficients on our x. Well, our b would be in fact this integral right here without the x naturally. So that also means that b is nothing but this right here, the integral from 0 to 1 of 9 lambda x no, without the x, I'm terribly sorry. 9 lambda times t, f of t, integrated with respect to t. And do not forget how we defined our f of t right here, right now. Well, our f of t, we have reduced it to this form right here. So we can plug it into here, but with t instead of x. So we can rewrite this as the integral from 0 to 1, 9 times lambda t. And now we have I'm going to write it with an a, a times t squared plus b times t, integrated with respect to t. And well, we can use the linearity of the integral to break this up a bit. It's going to turn into an integral from 0 to 1, 9 lambda a times t to the third power, integrated with respect to t, plus an integral from 0 to 1, 9 lambda b times t squared, integrated with respect to t. And you see, this is just the integration of a polynomial because those are all constants. So this is really quite easy. Let's do this. So we are going to end up with b being equal to, well, this is just a constant, 9 times lambda times a. This was to the third power, so um, adding 1 to the power and dividing by the power, you could say. So over 4, t to the fourth power. And then we also have plus 9 times lambda times b. So this was a polynomial, second power, so it's going to turn into the third power and dividing by this power. So 9 over 3 is just 3 in the end, t to the third power. And we have up and lower bounds from 0 to 1. You see, those are just polynomials. They are going to vanish on 0. That's quite cool. And if you plug 1 into here, well, it's just trivial. So we end up with 9 lambda times a over 4. And plus 9, no, um, 9 and 3 are going to cancel out, so 3 times lambda 
times b. And don't forget what our goal is. We want to solve for b right here. So we can subtract this term on both sides and factor out this 1 minus 3 times lambda in the end. So we end up with b minus 3 times lambda times b, which is nothing but factoring out the b, b times 1 minus 3 times lambda, being equal to this chunk right here, 9 times lambda times a over 4. And now we can divide both sides by this. We don't want it to be equal to 0. So you see lambda couldn't be 1 third, for example, or otherwise this wouldn't work out. So you can place some restrictions on lambda actually. So b is nothing but 9 times lambda times a over 4 times 1 minus 3 times lambda. Okay, and now we are basically done because we know what a is and we know what b is and now we can plug it into our incomplete form right here. So, right now we know that f of x is nothing but a times x squared plus b times x. But by our new definitions of a and b, this is nothing but a minus 4 times x squared and also plus this chunk and you know a is nothing but this right here so we have 9 times lambda a minus 4 over 4 times 1 minus 3 times lambda and x and now we can um, make this a bit nicer looking so we can factor out this term on both sides and bring an x to the other side for example so we end up with a minus 4 times so this is nothing but x plus 9 lambda over 4 times 1 minus 3 lambda times x and then we are done so this was nice and easy this is our f of x and this f of x indeed satisfies this Fred Holm integral equation of the second kind if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like you can also support the channel by buying those t-shirts I created or supporting it on Patreon. If you don't want any of that, then just watch my videos. That already helps a lot. And up until the next video, have an advent calendar day. See ya. Das war ein Video.